The Mountain High EDS Pulse Demand Oxygen System has four modes of operation. N, or now mode, D5 and D10, the delay modes, F5, F10, F15, and F20, the face mask modes, and the reserve slash manual mode. The first setting you'll activate when you turn on your EDS is the N mode, or now mode. This is the EDS's fully automatic mode, immediately delivering carefully calculated doses only when the user inhales. This setting is perfect for performing a pre-flight system check. Once you are ready to fly, most users who are in good health and using a cannula will opt to move to the D modes, which delay oxygen delivery until 5 or 10,000 feet. For those who know that they are always okay at lower altitudes, these are perfect settings to get the very most out of your cylinder, with the confidence that the EDS will automatically begin delivering oxygen once you reach your cruising altitude. In the D modes, the EDS is monitoring and learning your breathing patterns, even when it is not yet delivering oxygen, so that when you reach 5 or 10,000 feet, it has already optimized itself for your breathing patterns. The EDS measures pressure altitude, not actual altitude, and is calibrated to standard pressure altitude of 29.92 inches of mercury. Because of this, your EDS never needs to be adjusted to compensate for changes in barometric pressure. It will activate as soon as a pressure altitude of 5 or 10,000 feet is reached. The F modes, or face mask modes, begin delivering oxygen more generously and give the user simple increments by which additional oxygen can be added to each pulse, whether they are wearing a cannula or a mask. The numbered F settings provide more oxygen to compensate for the plenum in face masks. Larger numbers are generally for larger masks, and a way to compensate for beards. The F settings provide an intuitive way for users to bump up their oxygen pulses incrementally and may also be used to enrich the pulse of oxygen if they feel that they may need more O2. For users wishing to measure blood oxygen saturation with a pulse oximeter, users should find an F setting which reaches blood oxygen saturation of 90 to 100 percent. Vasoconstriction in the fingers at altitude inhibits oximeters from acquiring accurate readings. For this reason, it is normal for an oximeter to report saturation as low as 85% when blood oxygen saturation in the brain is actually well into the 90s. So users need not be concerned if their oximeter does not report 90%, but should always pay attention to how they are feeling and utilize the F modes to increase their oxygen should they feel it necessary. The RM, or Reserve Manual Mode, is a setting that with the standard issue Mountain High Regulator delivers a fixed effective flow rate of about 8 liters per minute per breath. If you are using the standard issue Mountain High Regulator, the RM mode should not be used for typical flying, as it will overdose you with oxygen, not be altitude compensated, and be very wasteful. What is the RM setting for? R stands for Reserve. This is useful for purging yourself of nitrogen reserves before fast ascents to very high flight levels in high performance aircraft. This mitigates the bends caused by nitrogen outgassing at high altitudes. M, or manual, was intended for use with older non-mountain high regulators that are manually adjustable by the pilot for the correct flight altitude. For this reason, the M mode should not be used for normal flying. Here is the list of the EDS's settings as they appear in order on the device. N, D5, D10, F5, F10, F15, F20, and R slash M. Most users wearing a cannula can feel confident using the D modes. However, the various EDS operating modes allow flexibility for users wearing face masks and for other situations where more oxygen is needed per pulse. Understanding the operating modes of the EDS will help you maximize your oxygen savings and fly on your own terms.